We are at the National Museum of the Mighty Eighth Air Force Museum. We're here remembering the Freckleton disaster of August 23, 1944. We're in the memory garden of the Mighty Eighth Museum at the site of the Freckleton Monument. Freckleton, for those who are not aware, uh, is a small town outside of Wharton in the filed uh, district on 10.30 in the morning approximately of 23 August two American B-24 Liberator bomber aircraft took off from Wharton for a test drive after being repaired. A sudden storm appeared and apparently lightning struck B-24. It crashed and killed 38 children in the schoolhouse as well as others for a total of 61 personnel who were lost on that day, 61 casualties. Most of them were buried in a common grave. So we remember that incident, are heartbroken about it. It's the hazards of a war going on. It was described uh, by the BBC as just a tragic accident. We would like to read the names of the casualties on that day. I will read the names of the crewmen. There were three, First Lieutenant John A. Blumendahl, Tech Sergeant James M. Parr, Sergeant Gordon W. Kinney. You all know the names in England or the name of Sir Terry Pratchett who said, and I paraphrase, those names who you sound are not dead. Also died that day were Private George Brown, Sergeant Frank L. Zugel, Corporal Herbert G. Cross, Private Minus Blitzes, Private Samuel Mezzacapa, Sergeant Theodore Nelson, Corporal Arthur Rodney. They were in the sad sack snack bar, they were U.S. personnel. The RAF pilots that were lost are four number. Chairman John O'Neill will read the four names of the RAF personnel that died that were in the vicinity or in the snack bar. Pilot, Sergeant Walter W. Cannell. Navigator, Sergeant Robert J. Bell. Navigator, Wireless Operator, Sergeant Eric C.W. Newton. Navigator, Sergeant Douglas Batson. These are the staff members in the Sad Sack Snack Bar. Uh, the last three names are the owners and uh, staff member. Kathleen Forshaw, Gwendolyn Franken, Evelyn Rhodes, Alan Whittle, Rachel Whittle, Pearl Whittle, James Victor Silcock. Thank you, Jane Grismer. Command Sergeant Major, would you read please the first two names who are the teachers that died as a result of Freckleton disaster, the first two names. Miss Jenny Hall, Louisa Lee Hugh. Command Sergeant Major Roger Stradley, thank you. Uh, Joey, would you step up and read the first names of the children that were killed either on that day or soon thereafter? Howard Allenson, Martin Peter Alston, Edna Ray Eskew, Sylvia Bickerstaff, Kenneth George Bucock, Jean Butcher, David Carr, Maureen Denise Clark, John Cox, Sonia Mary Dagger, Peter Danson, John Hargraves Foster, Judith Millicent Garner, John Hardman, Annie Lonsdale Harrington, Beryl Hogarth, William Hilton Idon, Elizabeth Margaret K. Isles, 
Vera Christine Jones. Greg Kindred, would you come up please and read? Georgina Lonsdale, Thomas Frank Mullen, Jillian Parkinson, June Parkinson, George Preston, Michael Probert, Thomas Rawcliffe, Alice Margaret Rayton, Malcolm Scott, June Stewartson, Dorothy Suttle, John Suttle, Joseph Threffel, John Townsend, Barry Brown Truscott, Lillian Marjorie Waite, Alice Sylvia Wybrock, Alan Wilson, and William Robert Wright. Those 61 lost their lives that day. We were honored to have Ruby Correll, uh, who was five at the time, survive one of the few that survived. She came to visit the National Museum of the Mighty Eighth Air Force in 2017 on August 23rd, the anniversary date. I didn't meet her then, I wish I had, but I saw a newspaper clipping to that effect. And I spoke to um, Dr. Hetke, who wrote a marvelous book about it. If you'll all join hands and we'll say a prayer on behalf of those lost and those bereaved. Dear man, continue to grace the lives of those who survive. Give them peace. Continue their serenity in knowing that the Lord is with their loved ones. Keep us all in your prayers and keep the world safe from the horrors that World War II brought and the mighty efforts of all the military, including the United Kingdom and the United States of America, that finally ended the tyranny in Europe. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.